Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna do a quick video. Um, yeah, sitting by my fire pit, as you guys can see. Um, it's one of my peace, peaceful places where I sit and I think about life, you know? All different kinds of stuff. Drink beers, smoke a joint, whatever. Right now I'm pretty uh pretty pretty sober and pretty normal, but um it's getting a little chilly out here even though it's such a great day today. Um Yeah, I don't know man. I'm supposed to buy this house and I got an issue with the insurance company. I was supposed to close last Friday, now I'm supposed to close this Friday. It's not happening. But it will, it will. And it's lots of property, and I'm excited. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna own a piece of America. <laughs> Not many people are gonna own a piece of America anymore, unless you're rich. So, it's just one of these things that I have to deal with as a man, as a person. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out, but, um, I'm not going to stay on too long tonight, uh, just, what do you want to talk about, Ukraine? I did a little more information, um, on Ukraine, it's not, it's not as scary as the news is telling you, like, meaning bombs and artillery and people getting killed. I mean, some of that kind of stuff might happen, but I don't think that much of that's going to happen. But what happen, what, what will happen is there's a pipeline that goes through Ukraine. That's really what it's all about, the gas. The gas, the oil, all that. And... Um, Pretty much, <sighs> Russia wants it. They want it. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Look at what you dumb Americans voted into office. And the other one, I, I was with them. I'm not going to say any names, but I was with them because of his policies and cheap gas and all that. But, um,. He, he pushed this uh, certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for, poison on the American people, especially the people that loved him. Well, I was, I was for him. I voted for him because I knew I couldn't have the other evil bullshit, you know. But um, some of my family members took the poison. Some of my friends took the poison. And screwed a lot of people up. I don't want to get too deep into this because it's so negative and, and there's nothing. I have no power to do anything about it. I want to talk shit and want to talk about it, but. For what? To make you guys all scared and sad and whatever? I can't do it. All as I know is this is peace right here. This is peace. My truck, my other truck, my car, my beautiful uh, property, my sheds, my beautiful property that I rent from right now. I really haven't been doing any fires because it's been really cold and nasty and rainy and whatever. And today was such a nice day. I decided to to go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, but Ukraine, man. Um, the biggest downfall I see with this, and dude, uh, <laughs> I'm just doing research, guys. Like, I look into this stuff. A lot of this stuff, a lot of my sources are pretty accurate. Um, your prices on everything are going to go crazy. And like... Us people that live paycheck to paycheck, it's going to kill us, man. It's going to hurt us. You know? I 
See, there me. I'm, I'm being negative again, but I gotta tell you the truth. You know, I got a I got a, 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 a guy that's in uh, uh, Ukraine right now that I know personally, and he's like, "There's nothing going on." Like what they're telling you on the like, there's no missiles going off. There's none of that stuff. But um, your boy, uh, Mister Brandon. I don't know. It's really none of our business to be there. But Mr. Brandon wants to uh, uh, put it on news that he's going to do something and now he's not doing nothing. You're going to do something, do something, dude. Like, do it. Do it and do it with force. And 10 years ago, I saw this coming and... Anytime I try to talk to anybody about it, what, what, 10 years? Let's see, what are we at now? Uh, I would say maybe five years, excuse me. Well, maybe like six years, but five, four to five years is when I really saw this thing coming. Anytime you try to talk to anybody about it, they won't listen. They don't want to hear it. They're too busy going to work every day, coming home to their, to their house, Feed the kids, eat the dinner, and watch, uh, what it, What do you call I don't even watch TV anymore, really. I mean, I do it when I go to sleep at night or when I'm just relaxing after work sometimes. I'll put it on, but Real Housewives or these stupid reality shows, nobody, nobody understands. And now, all you Americans, you're all complaining about the gas prices the meat prices, the inflation, all this bull crap. You caused it by not paying attention to what the heck is going on. Man. So sad. I got my father. He's got stage four cancer. And he's just, the media got him. And he's a smart man. He got the poison multiple times, and like, what is their name? Heather McDonald, I think. Uh, Bob Saget. Same thing happened to him in the grocery store, right after the the poison. So, and I and I tried to talk to him about it like nicely in a little bit, and try to like explain to him that yeah, he don't want to hear it. He gets mad and irrational. And it hurts. It hurts. Because he's not doing good. He's really not doing good. And he's he's out there like a warrior fighting this cancer and whatever else he got. But, I mean, I just watched the decline. And um, <sighs> he was in the hospital for a while. Like, during the, the last two years, I should say. I'm not going to say the name. During the lock your shed, <laughs> let's just say something like that. And um, he went to the hospital, and you didn't catch his cancer? It's COVID, COVID, COVID. Come on, man. This world, man. I hope it gets better. I really think it's going to. I, I just really think that we're going to have, like, at least another, what do we got? At least another one or two years of this misery. You just got to figure out a way to get through it. You know, a lot of people are going to fall. A lot of people are going to fall on their face. They're going to lose their apartments. Did you hear about the, the rent, rent hike in New York City? Like, crazy rent hike. I mean, that's the reason why I'm buying a house. I mean, if I wasn't in this situation that I'm in right now, renting from somebody that gives a shit about me and um, helps me out. Trying to go somewhere else to rent, man. Well, it's a little cat, the black cat in the background. I just seen it run by. I got a lot of animals here and sometimes I feed them, but you know, haven't been lately that much. The squirrels usually come up to the window um, I got a couple stray cats. One year they had, two years ago they had babies. But I usually feed them like my leftover steak. Especially now that my dog passed away. 
I don't really say that. Never said that on like Facebook or Instagram. People I know. I'm only talking to you guys across the world. But um, yeah, man, it's crazy out here. And this Ukraine thing, it really don't affect us, but it's gonna affect our prices. You know what I'm saying? Oil, gas, food, this Canadian crap that's going on. That's affecting our food prices. Um, I don't know. They're saying to get like, which I was going to, I started to do this two years ago and then I ended up just saying whatever. I did stock up on toilet paper and <clears throat> not like these crazy people in the store, but I did stock up on paper towels and slowly stocked up on toothpaste and deodorant and soap. Just so, like, you know, I have it just in case some shit hits the fan. But um, they're literally saying buy stuff that you could keep for, like, a year. That you could, it's cheap, that's non-perishable, like, canned goods and stuff like that. If you got some extra money, throw it in the pantry. Most home, home, people that own homes and have children and families, they got this stuff already. But, I mean, you know, just stock up on it. Because you have to understand that all of a sudden... If your price of uh, food goes from $5 a meal from the grocery store to $22, $25, now, it might go back down, but you might have a year where you're going to be dealing with that. So then you're going to have to pull out your canned food and your... <laughs> I'm like the guy that likes to eat healthy, and I can't even eat healthy right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm eating shit food. I was doing all right until I decided to buy this house and I've been putting a lot of money into down payments and inspections and appraisals and lawyers and this and that, but I was somewhat all right, but I was watching my bank account go down with this bullshit that's going on. Some mad evil in the world, man, and a lot of you, you're not evil. I'm not evil, but they are, and they got the, they got the strings, and they're pulling them, and if you don't wake up and talk to your friends and to your family and to love everybody and to help people, it's over, man, it's over, it might not be over for five to ten years, but you're going to be broke, you're going to be broke, five to ten years, you might be screwed, dude. Oh, look, my favorite friend came to say hi to me. Hey, Max, what are you doing, dude? Come here, baby. Oh, you want some treats? All right, let's go get a treat. Come on. Come on, Max. This is uh, my neighborhood dog. It's not my dog, but he always likes to come over and play with my pity and bug out. He always sneaks out. He's not supposed to, but come on, dude. Let's get some treats. Say hello. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on. Come on. I got treats. <laughs> I got maxi treats. Come on, let's go. He see me, he see me uh, building a fire before, so I know he was itching to come over. Come on, let's go. Hold on, let's turn the lights on so everybody can see if they even work. Sometimes they don't work. Yeah, they're not working right now, but whatever. Good boy, Maxi. Watch out, dude, I'm going back to the fire because it's cold. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the YouTube streets. <laughs> it's getting dark out now. So, listen, guys. I don't know. I can go on forever, but I'm really getting getting used to this this YouTube thing. I actually enjoy it. It's kind of fun. As long as I can say something that help you helps you guys out 
You guys got to subscribe, though. Like, comment. Like, tell me. Like, if you want to hear something, I can't go live. I'm not monetized, but I'm trying to get there. I mean, it is what it is. My buddy Crypto Mafia, he's into crypto and stuff. He's monetized and, you know, he's doing all right. But can't talk about crypto every day. You got to switch it up. You know, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And these news organizations are not giving you the facts, man. They're not telling you the truth. They're lying to you. That's why they're going after Joe Rogan and this one and that one. And all of them. I don't even need to say names. You know who they are. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Yeah, look up that Heather, Heather McDonald video. The comedian that passed out on stage. 